Welcome to Remade in California. I'm Pat Patterson. This is a show about reinvention, inspiration, and transformation. Tools you can use if you are launching a new career or business or reinventing yourself. Our expert guests help us explore new ideas, educational programs, and job resources available to you right here in California. Our show today covers music, art, and entertainment. During this show, we'll meet Sean Simons, former celebrity talent booker turned headmistress at Kitty Bungalow, a nonprofit kitten rescue in Los Angeles. She uses her skills from her previous career to fundraise for the kittens in an annual event called Cat Beret. Also, this half hour, we'll speak with Walter Zoy about the nonprofit organization Young Musicians Foundation, which supports music education to the underprivileged from K to 12. We'll hear from Walter how he reinvented himself into this new position. But up first, my good friend and talented musician, teacher, and recording artist. Welcome to the show, Stan Fries. Thank you. Thank Great you. to be here. Man. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. So we're focused on music education. You know, part of the show is about community colleges. And I know both your parents were music educators. Talk about that a they little bit. They were indeed. Both of them uh, received their uh, masters from Drake University in education, music education in Des Moines, Iowa, a hundred years ago. Right. And uh, were both music educators in Iowa and then in Minnesota, where I grew up in Minnesota. And so it was only natural that I guess I got into music because of all of that music around me and them being teachers. Well, and you saw that music could be a paying career. Early, a, a early pain, on. a pain career. Pain career. It was a pain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pain oh, for career. sure. Yeah. yeah, and I didn't necessarily see that through them because they were school teachers back in the days when school teachers really didn't make any money. Right. But uh, lucky for me, I was able to to uh, figure out a way to to get into the commercial part of music and uh, at an early age and did, and I still taught. I taught uh, a couple of years at a high school in Minneapolis. Well, talk about that a little and bit. And then, uh, well. I taught at a school called Edison High School, inner city high school. Right. I loved it. Uh, uh, and then I taught at the University of Minnesota in the summers. And then through a wild set of circumstances, ended up going down to Walt Disney World. So I left the teaching, went down to Walt Disney World when they opened, uh, actually before they opened in 1971, and became the first leader of the Disney World Band. And stayed there for two years and then came out to Disneyland and led the Disneyland band for almost 20 years. Yeah, and we worked together at Disneyland we sure at did. one time. And you have just retired after 45 years? 45 years. At Disney? Yeah. So you started when you were years. two. I started, I, was the, I started as the baby Jesus <laughs> in nativity scene in front of Small World. Uh, no, so, uh, yeah, well, here's the deal. At, at Disney, you have to start drawing your pension when you're 71 and a half. Right. Whether you continue working or not. And I already started taking Social Security. So one day I said, wait a minute, if I'm taking Social Security and my pension, what am I doing showing up every morning? You know, so it was time to do something else. Yeah. So now I'm doing a whole bunch of fun stuff. Yeah. And, and both of your boys are professional yes. musicians, which is very uh, unusual to have a paid gig in music but to be very successful yeah I, what, you know well i'm probably the only father that can of two rock musicians that can say i don't have to subsidize them no. you know <laughs> right. so i'm lucky yeah and they're yeah. lucky and they know they're lucky jason plays with green day he plays keyboards with that band since uh for 12 years and josh is a studio drummer and has been with sting and yeah just Nine like bruce springsteen everybody yeah. you know yeah just yeah. did that album so now that you're retired talk about a little bit about your own reinvention curve. well you know a couple of things uh i am digging up old re old recordings that i've made over the past 20 years and never really got a chance to remix mix down and release okay and so i'm doing that with some of my old new orleans uh, blues, R&B, Dr. John, Professor Long here kind of stuff uh, at Jason's studio. And then Jason and Josh and myself are doing an album. Wow. So that'll be kind of fun. Josh has a studio and Jason has a studio. So between the two, I don't need a studio. That's so right. That's I right. I just go over there and have fun with them. That's right. And you got to do consulting work? Or? I'm going to be con doing uh, quite a bit of consulting. Yeah. And... Uh, speaking and what have you and just and just the fact that you were able to stay relevant 
in booking music over the years, that long career, something that's very trendy and topical. Right. But and guess what? Yeah. I would have been uh, terrible if it hadn't have been for my two sons being in the rock business. Keeping the, you up to yeah, date. Yeah, keeping me up to date. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd have been like any other old guy, you know, I'd have hated it all, wouldn't known anything about it. Do you it. think that kept you open? Well, and yeah, for yeah. sure. Because I learned, I remember uh, when Jason had been, uh, Jason, who's with Green Day, had been with uh, Goo Goo Dolls, mm -hmm. and then uh, Joe Walsh from the Eagles and Jewel and whatever. And all of a sudden he calls me, he says, Dad, uh, I just got hired by, uh, by Green Day, the you know, greatest punk band in the world. Right. I went, yeah. punk band? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you know? So anyhow, but it turns out that they are. You yeah, know, they're and they're great. music and a Broadway show. And, and I've become... Uh, my mantra is that if it's well done, and if it's done from the heart, then any genre of music Doesn't is matter. wonderful. Yeah. I don't care if it's what it is. If it's speed, I love speed punk. If it's done well, like any, like any, art. like anything, yeah. Thank you for joining us. Still to come, she parlayed a career as a celebrity talent booker into a cat beret show for kittens. And up next, Walter Zoy, Executive Director of the Young Musicians Foundation, passing on music education to the next generation. Alex Detail was a child genius who saved the world from the evil harvesters. But a decade later, this mysterious alien force has returned, and Alex is no longer a prodigy. Now, in order to save the world again, he must survive his kidnapping, fight his evil clone, and get his ship to the planet Pluto, where he will uncover the universe's ultimate power. Alex Details Revolution, a thrilling new novel by Darren Campo. Buy online or wherever books are sold. Attention homeowners, taking a bath in your high wall tub is an accident waiting to happen. But now, you can turn your existing tub or shower into a safe, easy entry tub in just one day. With no tub walls to climb over, just open the door and walk right in. And for a limited time, save $1,500 and be one of the first 100 callers to get a free gift with purchase. Call 1-800-370-5504. That's 1-800-370-5504. Everyone's talking about reverse mortgages nowadays. Well, it's time for the facts, not the hype. A reverse mortgage is federally regulated and insured to protect you. You can choose lump sum payments or a monthly schedule. And yes, you still own your home. Call us with your questions. We'll answer them with facts, not hype. And we'll mail you our free booklet that covers important information in writing, like age requirements with or without a spouse, out-of-pocket costs, and how to navigate smoothly through the application process. No, you don't have to go online to a website. Call us. Speak with an experienced reverse mortgage advisor for an honest, no-obligation assessment of your options. Whether your retirement plan isn't covering your expenses or you're ready to shine up your golden years, now it's easy to get the facts, not the hype, and make an informed decision. Call now. Call 1-800-277-0492. That's 1-800-277-0492. Welcome back to Remade in California, where we talk about everything from the economy to education. This episode is all about music, arts, and entertainment. Joining us now is Executive Director of the Young Musicians Foundation, Walter Zoy. Walter, you had a career before your current position. Tell me a little bit about how you remade yourself. Sure. Actually, I had several careers before I had Perfect. my current position. Perfect. Um, as a musician and part-time teacher. Yeah. Uh, I combined that with my marketing experience and business experience and I was a uh, communications director at USC at their school of music and then at Cal Arts. After a point I wanted to strike out on my own so I remade myself and uh, started my own conservatory in South Pasadena and had the great fortune to grow that for 13 years. Wow. 26 instructors. Um, 3,300 plus students and a week. That, that, what's that called? That's the South, South Pasadena Music Center and Conservatory. Right, right. But after 13 years of that, I wanted yet another challenge, and um, I wanted to get closer to the heart of, of uh, music education and taking that out into underserved communities. Okay. Um, so I identified a few organizations that I thought would be great to work for, um, but in order to do so, once you've stepped out of the system, it's not quite so easy to step back into it. So I enrolled in a graduate program 
and uh, started working toward that and had the great fortune um, to fill the position of executive director at the Young Musicians Foundation. Wow. So it all, uh, really, the reskilling and re-educating yourself was key. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you mentioned you'd, you've been to community colleges. Yeah. I mean, in my first, um, I graduated high school a year early in order to attend uh, Bucks County Community College in Pennsylvania. It was a fantastic experience. Yeah. Uh, it really set me up for, I would say, really the rest of my professional career. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about the Young Musicians Foundation. How does it sure. live in the community? It's um, one of the oldest such uh, uh, organizations in the country. It was founded in 1955, and essentially there are two components to it. Uh, one side is highly competitive uh, training uh, programs for young musicians aged 18 to 25. Uh, there's a pre-professional training orchestra called the Debut Orchestra, um, and th those are paid musicians uh, that, that participate in this program. But the part that really spoke to me and, and to my passion was the other side of the organization, which is the Teaching Artist Program. And we take 30 teaching artists, people who have uh, established uh, music degrees from the area, and um, we send them out to work with schools and school sites. And we wow. develop unique programs for each one of the schools and each one of the sites, um, primarily in underserved, 90% Title I schools. And right now we're at 14 different school sites serving about 1,400 school kids. How great. Wow. And, and so just in terms of what you're doing, you're saying train, train teachers, is, is that something, is that a job for somebody? Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's a, a, a fantastic job for... Um, uh, a music student, primarily, we, to work for us, you have to have a minimum of a bachelor, bachelor's in music. Right. Uh, but once you get your degree, I mean, you can't just go apply for a professional musician's job. Right. Um, yeah. So while folks are establishing themselves in a career, we train them to be teachers. And then we send them out to teach for us under very supervised and controlled um, environments. But not only do they earn a reasonable wage doing this, they're getting valuable teaching experience because as any professional musician will tell you, if they're not still currently do it, doing it, they've certainly had to do it at some point in their career and it's, it's a valuable skill to have. So uh, other than Stan's sons, it's hard to make a full-time living. Stan's sons are the <laughs> exception to the exception <laughs> yeah. of the rule, yeah, yeah. for sure. And, and so, because my daughter's a teacher uh, up in the Bay Area, music teacher up in the Bay yeah. Area, so that would be community college, uh, uh, then a four-year school, then in, I mean, this is kind of like an internship or, in or yeah. on-the-job on training. On-the-job training, yeah. um, but it's a decent hourly wage. Right. My own son in New York, he graduated from music, music school in New York, and he's working for a very similar organization right. in, uh, in the Bronx right now. Right. Wow. That is great information. So thanks, Walter, for joining us. Thank you, Pat. For more information about Young Musicians Foundation, please visit ymf.org. And for more information on how California's community colleges can help you be remade in California, go to doingwhatmatters.cccco.edu. Up next, John Simons, headmistress of Kitty Bungalow Charm School for Wayward Cats. Attention homeowners, taking a bath in your high wall tub is an accident waiting to happen. But now you can turn your existing tub or shower into a safe, easy entry tub in just one day. With no tub walls to climb over, just open the door and walk right in. And for a limited time, save $1,500 and be one of the first 100 callers to get a free gift with purchase. Call 1-800-370-5504. That's 1-800-370-5504. Alex Detail was a child genius who saved the world from the evil harvesters. But a decade later, this mysterious alien force has returned and Alex is no longer a prodigy. Now, in order to save the world again, he must survive his kidnapping, fight his evil clone, and get his ship to the planet Pluto, where he will uncover the universe's ultimate power. Alex Detail's Revolution, a thrilling new novel by Darren Campo. Buy online or wherever books are sold. This message is for all Americans that owe $10,000 or more in back taxes to the IRS. Look, I know you want to keep ignoring those letters, but the problem isn't going away. It's really stressful, and you don't know where to turn. The good news is, you have rights, and we can help eliminate your IRS problems. 
If you owe more than $10,000 in back taxes, our qualified CPAs, tax negotiators, and support staff know the law and know how to get your situation under control legally and permanently. Call the number on your screen now and we will contact the IRS on your behalf. Help you end wage garnishments, stop collection calls, remove tax liens, eliminate IRS and state tax penalties, and reduce the amount you owe if you qualify. You wouldn't go to court without a lawyer, so why face the IRS without an experienced company that can help you? Let us take the stress of back taxes and the IRS off your shoulders so you can spend time on the important things in your life, like your family or your business. If you owe more than $10,000 in back taxes, call now and find out how we can help you. Welcome back to Remade in California. We're the show that explores people who are launching new careers and businesses or reinventing themselves. We've been discussing education in music, arts, and entertainment. Joining us now is Sean Simons, former television celebrity booker who reinvented herself to start a nonprofit through the use of entertainment. Her biggest fundraiser is an annual event called Cat Beret in Los Angeles, which features celebrities, singers, and comedians. So tell me a little bit about Kitty Bungalow and how, how do students participate in your charity? You know, we are a fueled organization that uses volunteers. That's how we get as much work done as we do. So we use a lot of students that are interested in veterinary science, that are interested in becoming a vet tech, that just love animals. And it gives them an opportunity to explore the idea of becoming a veterinarian with actual live exposure. Wow, and, and you were a celebrity booker. Tell us a little bit about how those skills translated into what you do now. Yeah, I think that I made them translate. Yeah. I'm not sure that sure. one well, would look at your resume and go, oh, celebrity booker, you should have cats. A lot of people that remake themselves <laughs> Learn along the way. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I started in the entertainment industry when I was about nine years old. Wow. And I, it's all I knew. It's all I did for decades. And suddenly I found myself in a home with my husband and found myself involved in the local community and saw problems that needed solving. Okay. And the problem my area was stray cats and okay. tripping over kittens. Well, so tell me about Kitty Bungalow. How does that what does it do? So Kitty Bungalow Charm School for Wayward Cats is a 100% street cat rescue. So we're working to help end the overpopulation problem by working at the core, which has to do with spay neuter. So we provide about 1,000 free spay neuters throughout the community to stray cats or community wow, cats. That's, well, tell me a little bit about the event, this cat beret. Yeah, so I love the name, first of all. <laughs> Very clever. I'll tell you, when I first started Kitty Bungalow, not only did I not know anything about nonprofits, I honestly didn't know very much about cats at the time. Okay. I didn't even have well, one. This is a total remake. Completely. <laughs> completely. Yeah. But what I did know, uh, I knew the entertainment industry, I knew celebrities, I knew award shows. So when it came time to raise money, I did the only thing that made sense to me, which was let's put on a huge celebrity show. Wow. And, and how is it, is it uh, and it's, you hold it once a year? And how does it, uh, invitation only, tickets? No, tickets, yes, okay. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. No, it's a great night. It's a great night for people that love animals. It's also a great night for people who love musicals and singing and celebrities. Kind of a variety show kind of a yeah, thing? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's a number of celebrities that are basically singing and dancing about cats. Right. Uh, Fred Willard has been in our show every year since we first oh, started. Oh, I love Fred Willard. He's so wonderful. That's the show. Yes. He's perfect. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. He's a great animal advocate. Yeah. Uh, we've had the So You Think You Can Dance dancers every oh, year wonderful. performing as well. And celebrities from, uh, from Castle, from um, Lord of the Rings. We've That's had great. Is there an educational process that you can see that would have helped you, maybe? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, I, was, I was trial by fire, yeah. 100%. Yeah. And I think that... Which, when you have a passion, that's okay. Yes, yeah. yeah. But what, then you have hindsight, at, at, at my point, and yeah. when people come to me to talk about starting a nonprofit, the first thing I try to do is slow them down. I don't mm -hmm. think anyone realizes the amount of work that goes into what we do. Um, and so 
we take on a lot of young students that are interested in this and to help them explore the opportunities and get a sense of the enormous range of skills that it takes. Um, some of the large nonprofits have people that are you know, just doing social media or just doing marketing or right. just doing fundraising. There's an array of opportunities to get involved. Yeah, yeah, and, and do you find this more uh, satisfying the talent booking? Is this your following your, your soul? I would say more exhausting. More exhausting, okay. So why is it so exhausting? <laughs> uh, it's a it's a twenty four seven. It it absolutely is every day, every waking minute. You got to drive down and be on Pat's show, and you got to, <laughs> and then you go. This was a pleasure. Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks. For more information about Sean, to make a donation or to adopt a kitten, please visit kittybungalow.org. For more information on how California's community colleges can help you be remade in California, go to doingwhatmatters.cccco.edu. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Remade in California. See you next time.